Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Proverbs 21, 13. Whoever closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself call out and not be answered. Will himself call out and not be answered. The other day, I kind of questioned what I did the other day. Though I, I probably shouldn't have. I went to Wendy's and there was a, a lady who came up to the car and I could tell she was on some type of fentanyl or, or some something. And she came up to the car and said if she could, could she have some money? Can, can I give her some money? Now, a long time ago, after watching many documentaries and seeing the, the harmful effects of, of different drugs and how giving people money can actually help them go get more drugs, I said, no, but uh, I'm at Wendy's. Are you hungry? And she said, yeah. And so I, 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 I reversed because there wasn't a car behind me at the time, and I ordered her a, a, a double cheeseburger and, and, and a drink or whatnot. So we pull up a little more and she's trying to get money from the other car. She's, you could see she was annoying the people and they, they weren't giving her any money or anything. And then she changed her, her drink for the menu instead of a, a Coke like she asked. She wanted it to be eliminated and she kept trying to tell the window people, I'll take a, I'll take a, a lemonade instead. And they were like, sorry, ma'am, you're not in the car. We can't help you. And so I pull up to it and I, I pay for mine and I, and then I'm like, okay, she, she was the order right behind me. And instead of a, a Coke, she won a lemonade. Like who? I'm like the lady who's trying to ask for a lemonade. And so they were looking at me in such disgust. And I paid for it, and then they tried to hand me the food. And I'm like, no, she's right there. You can hand it to her. And they didn't want to. And they were just shaking their head in the back of the, of the store or whatnot. And they eventually did. And she said, thank you, honey. And she left. And I left feeling like, did I do something wrong? Did I perhaps enable somebody? But no, I didn't. I didn't. I gave them food. I gave them a bare essential that they would need and that they could take instead of giving something to propel them into a worse disaster. So I felt bad about maybe what I did because of the, the looks, the hard and harsh looks that people gave. But then after reading this scripture, Proverbs 21, 13, whoever closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself call out and not be answered. I realized I did the right thing. As if you read in Matthew 25, it really talks about this. It talks about how we should be to the Lord. And it talks about that when we do for all these people, what I did for that lady, I did it as though she was God. I did it for the Lord when I did that. Because Matthew 25, 31, 46 says, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, uh, when did we see you hungry and feed you or, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them. Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brother, you did it to me. You did it to me. 
what I did for that lady end up being for God. And those people that were not down for that, they didn't realize what I was doing. But I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to, to love people. And that's what the Lord wants from us, right? Because if we continue in, in Matthew 25 and past, past 40, it gets it gets dark. It gets dark. It's it gets dark. It's one of those things where it tells you it tells you what you should do. And then it tells you what happens to those who don't do these things. Then he will say to those who on his left. Remember, those are the goats. Those are the goats. We don't want to be goats. We want to be sheep. Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick, and in prison, and you didn't visit me. Then they also will answer, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them saying, truly, I say to you, as you did not do it to the one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. See you, friends. It's not an option. Let's love our people. Let's love our people. Let's treat them right. And let's realize that there are people that are in despair. And even if they're in despair for their own things, let's help them that the way that the Lord reveals to us how we can help them without making their situation more addictive or worse. But we should love everyone. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. And love your neighbor as yourself. Love your stranger as yourself. Let's do that. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us all these opportunities to love people. And let us never close our eyes to those that are in need. But give us wisdom on how to help them at the moments that they occur. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit to do that. May many be saved, Father. And may many, if they're listening to this and they want the Holy Spirit, please, Show them the way, Father. And they can pray with me right now. Dear Heavenly Father, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins, Father, for I realize that I am a sinner. I repent, Lord. I repent. I believe that you are indeed God, not just, just in belief, but in full. I am going to obey you, Father. Please come into my heart and, and, and work with me as I read the word of God and know more and more about what your statutes are so that I may do them and not be hearers of the word only, but doers. Thank you, Father. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.